Today's transport system is largely self-service. It's one where the individual has to do a surprising amount of the work. We're armed with some very interesting tools, but those tools require us to use them. And more often than not, you tend to use about four or five of these things in order to try and manage your journeys without somebody looking at it as a big joined up problem and trying to come up with a solution that's real time changeable enough to deal with all those surprises that pop up left, right and centre. And if you forget to look at something or you forget to check something, then you find yourself stranded at a station, unaware of what went wrong and how to solve it. If you look at planning your travel at the moment, you have multiple applications which you have to open up, do the manual work. In the fetch world, your agent should be able to do that. So you have a specific travel agent which belongs to you, which knows your context, builds in the context, and finds you the right mode of transportation based on your preferences. It can also find your hotel rooms. So that completely cuts out the use of middlemen because your agent is intelligent enough to go directly to the source. Connected agents behind the scenes. We're already seeing this with stock market trading, with advanced ways of optimizing networks for supply chain planning to transport networks and supply chain optimization. We're going to start to see agents sort of becoming the norm for ways of speeding up, not just reducing the cost of those operations, but in terms of intelligent steps of automation. You'll see that. One of the things that autonomous economic agents do in the short term with transport is that they have more eyes on the problem. They're all carrying around these devices with a huge number of sensors that, that have an enormous amount of information that could be delivered and actually get you value for doing so, I might add, but largely just sits there doing absolutely nothing. And this is precisely the kind of thing that we can do with Fetch because all of those things can become agents. All of those can provide information that is real time and instant that allows you to make um, good decisions or better still, allows autonomous economic agents to construct better decisions on your behalf. The effect on the infrastructure providers of Fetch, it's going to be quite dramatic because currently all the infrastructure is managed by complex top-down management systems which actually need to control from a single point of control. In the Fetch world, the agents will be assigned to various parts of the infrastructure and the agents will be intelligent enough to build a solution and really monetize the infrastructure in the right way and the most efficient way. Fetch enables dynamic pricing pretty much everywhere on the infrastructure um, that, that we use, on the travel networks that we use, um, be it on trains, roads or, or just about anywhere else. Um, but actually because it, it, it provides that on a very much a moment to moment basis, we're able to make these adjustments to try and flatten demand just by encouraging people to leave a little bit earlier or a little bit later. Uh, and that's just going to help utilisation across the board. But also the information that they have allows them to do more effective timetable planning, route planning, uh, and everything else. In the short term, we expect Fetch to solve quite a few niggly problems in the transport and travel sector. For example, it could give you an agent which sorts out and makes it very easy for you to carry out your travel needs. It can also be very active in guiding you which steps you need to take to avoid any buildup of traffic um, within the sector. It could easily introduce very dynamic congestion charges to avoid congestion on the roads. It could also encourage dynamic insurances which kind of are already there but they don't have a connectivity um, to enable them properly. And also in the short term it will allow the automotive sector to connect with each other and utilize the data in the long run, the effects are much more dramatic because you're looking at a complete paradigm shift in how we manage the traffic, in how we manage the transport control, how we manage the infrastructure. For example, you would not even require a congested signals because the communication between the cars will be so fluid that you will be able to predict and see what's going to happen in the next, uh, in the next junction. So that's quite a dramatic change from where we are today.